All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We are sitting out here in the Freedom Office. It's been a while since I've done a video, uh, just because, I'll be honest with you, the world's going to shit. Hell in a handbasket, and there's just no good news to distribute. And I'm sick and tired of bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news all the time. And especially what's what's going on as of late, the world we live in, is, I don't think we'll ever be the same. Uh, Monster has been awoken, ladies and gentlemen, and there's two of them. One on the good side, one on the bad side. If you see where I'm going, get ready, because it's getting ready to happen. I, I firmly believe that uh, we're getting ready to head into the uh, WW3. So, uh, with that being said, get your, uh, what do you say, your powder dry and your whatever else. Make sure you're stocked up on all the cool things, because when it does happen, we're going to end up fighting ourselves. It's the way things happen. If you uh, feel differently, let me know down below. Okay, so the big thing about this video, uh, ghost guns. Rule exceeds ATF authority, appeals court holds. This is an article by Joyce E. Cutler. Uh, she, ladies and gentlemen, is a staff correspondent with the guys over there at Bloomberg and Company. This is Bloomberg Law. This came out last night. Uh, this is interesting because we came out with the thing yesterday or the day before with the uh, shoulder brace, which I'm excited to hear about because simply the shoulder brace is nothing more than just it's like a handguard or a grip i mean it's it's nothing the ar-15 is just like any other semi-automatic firearm in the world this dumb ass uh elizabeth warren and this guy uh who's that one fellow mercedes or <laughs> garcia they, they're coming out with the, a, the ammo act i mean like what the hell is up with that laser and speaking of ammo ladies and gentlemen let's give a big shout out to our sponsors callaway ballistics uh these guys are awesome uh a couple man one man operation made here in america uh one of the things they told me about ammo lately is and i want to do it a video specifically to that the components are going up as a matter of fact hornady is calling all the smaller companies to see if they can buy some of their primers and uh, other things yeah, and that's another reason. Go ahead and get what you can get. Uh, because dumbasses like Elizabeth Warren, they want to limit to how much you can buy. You have to put out a, a background check and they have to keep a record of what you buy, which is. <laughs> doesn't matter what you do this is again this is the bad news we live in today and it's absolutely disgusting and uh on top of that uh youtube is pretty much trying to shut my channel down it's pretty interesting of what's happened in the last month or, or two or three months especially if you do a video with the words hunter biden in it and it's not in a positive light because i want to shut you down uh censoring is what i call it if that's the case so anyway let's get back to this thing so we were talking about uh the uh deal with the um <clears throat> what do you call them the arm braces and things of that nature but the ghost guns rule exceeds atf authority and basically what this stems from is an overactive uh legis uh, not legislative uh, the executive branch thinking that they are above the law they can tell anybody what they need to do and what they're going to do and and you know you're going to do what we say which is absolute bullshit and they use every excuse in the entire world to go ahead and remedy that i mean we found out about that little uh thing thing i call it thing and she identifies as a thing that shot up that school what a piece of pos all right so let's get into this a federal appeals court thursday tossed that part of a rule targeting build at home ghost guns in a case advocates brought holding the regulation exceeds limits on agency authority in the name of public policy yes they are trying to make law and that's what we've always been preaching these guys are trying to make law they can't do that they can't just randomly go hey listen uh we're gonna deem that illegal uh, the u.s court of appeals for the fifth circuit affirmed in part and vacated in part a lower court ruling that the bureau of alcohol tobacco firearms and explosives final frame or receiver rule targeting privately made firearms without serial numbers conflicts with the gun control act this is interesting and i'd like to know what part in, uh, did not get uh, a stay on it so the atf in promulgating its final rule attempting to take on the mantle of congress in other words they're trying to take on uh they're trying to take on the legislative branch they're trying to do their job at the behest of our executive branch uh let's see promulgated the attempt to take on the mantle of congress to do something with respect to gun control but it is not that province of an executive agency to write laws for our nation that vital duty for better or for worse lies solely with the legislature judge kurt my hero d Engelhart, wrote for the court and again i gotta figure out what we didn't get pushed through but this is it 
the executive branch thinks they're above the law. That's as far as it goes. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why we have our Second Amendment, because idiots like that, they become tyrants. They become used to the law. It's just like uh, Justin Trudeau up there in Canada. You wake up on Monday morning and you find out you whatever you have has got to be turned in in three years. Oh, hell no. Uh, ATF must operate within the statutory text limits until Congress. Ah, excuse me. Really? Okay. <laughs> ATF must operate within the statutory limits until Congress acts. The judge said the final rule impermissibly exceeds those limits such that the ATF has essentially rewritten laws. Goes on to say criminal liability will be broadly imposed without congressional input, which the government asserted the court said an agency cannot label conduct lawful one day and felonious the next. Yet that is exactly what the ATF accomplishes through its final rule. It goes on with the baby to bump stocks. The the uh, if it was legal one day, not legal the next day. Um, Englehart, joined by Judge Don Willett, upheld the trial court's order to the extent it holds unlawful the two challenge portions of the final rule and vacated and remanded to determine the remedy for the plaintiffs. Judge. Circuit Judge Andrew Oldham, in a concurring opinion, this is a 3-0, called the final rule limitless. It purports to regulate any piece of metal or plastic that has machined beyond its primordial state for fear that it might be one day turned into a gun, a gun frame, or a gun receiver. And it doesn't stop regulating the metal or plastic until the melted piece is down, <laughs> is melted back down to ooze. The GCA, the Gun Control Act, allows none of this, Oldham said. All right, well, I'm not going to continue on it. I'll put the link down below. But, man, I'll tell you what, what an interesting article. Uh, this, this one uh, caught my eye. And I had to report on it. All right, so big weekend coming up. Next weekend, the weekend of the 17th, uh, we are going down to the Clinton House Plantation for the Fall Brawls, a three-day event. We'll be camping out. I might do some views or some uh, reviews on some of my camping gear and the camping setup because a lot of people are ooh and ah when I come down there and show up. So with that being said, guys, uh, we always hit them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Cheers to you guys. Happy Veterans Day. Hoorah. I'm out of here. Boom. Oh, yeah.